new year, new you, new job? <laughs>what's up everybody welcome back to the channel my name is chris yawn and i'm a driver and a driver trainer here at Avert express i've been with the company since 2014 so we will be going on i'm in my eighth year now we'll be long before it's my ninth year so welcome back i hope everyone had a really good christmas and a good start to the new year 2023 and uh, i do one of these videos every single year just talking about the company my experience here uh, working here in case you're looking to make a change a lot of drivers out there are looking to start something new for the new year maybe find something better and maybe an Averitt is in the running for that so hopefully this video helps you out um, just a couple of disclaimers first I like to throw out there before I do these long videos um, this video is going to be about an hour long so if you want to just listen to it while you're going on the road that's fine I will be posting screenshots of the stuff that I'm saying just to prove my case uh, but you don't have to sit here and look at me for the next hour. So <laughs> just let it play if you want the information. Um, Averitt is not paying me or compensating me in any way, shape, or form for doing these videos. Uh, they don't ask me to do the videos or anything like that. I do them just to help pay it forward for other drivers out there looking for information because when I was coming up in the industry, someone did that for me. And that's the reason why my whole channel exists. Um, I did get accused a few years ago about stretching the truth or trying to just make these videos to recruit for Averitt just for the referral bonus. And that's not me, guys. Um, I'm, I'm a very genuine person. I don't need the money like that. I don't depend on the referral bonus money. Um, I think I only got one referral the entire last year. And if you really want to know what I do with that referral bonus money, I normally take my wife out on a fancy date, just her and I without the kids. Um, so I don't have reason just to be out here spreading lies or anything like that. So just squash all that now. All right. So let's get started. 2023 for the pay. Now we hit Averitt. We are not going to be your top dollar pay. Um, I say that all the time and it's just not, but with all the other perks that we have here at the company, the pay kind of balances that out and we'll get into all that. Uh, so if you want the top dollar pay, you might want to look elsewhere. But just know that to get that top dollar pay, you're going to have to put up with a lot of crap normally. A lot of stress and a lot of run around and just not a good quality of life out here on the road. Um, that's something where Averitt shines. They have found a good balance between pay and, and providing all this quality of life stuff out here. So anyway, with that being said, to start at Averitt is 55 cent a mile. And for the flatbed, it is 57 center mile. And today's date is January 16th. I normally put these videos out sooner, but I was sick for the last two weeks. I had some kind of bronchitis type thing. It was nasty. Anyway, <laughs> so it is January 16th, and that is the pay rates as of right now. We are kind of overdue for a raise, and the reason I say that is because they tend to give raises out like all the time. Like we usually get C two or three a year. And we've not seen one in a little bit, so um, I'd say it's coming soon. We'll see. We do have a couple of guarantees here at Averitt also. So if you have a run, a really short run, that pays it's under 150 miles, so it may be you know 130 miles your total run that you got assigned, they're going to bump that up to 350 miles. Um, <clears throat> anything between 151 and 450. They're going to bump that up to 450 So, you know, if you, if you get a little short run over here at Avery, you don't have to worry about that. Whereas other companies, you just kind of get screwed out of that. So, <coughs> sorry guys, I still got residual effects from that sickness. So, it was nasty. <laughs> anyway, we also have a $1,250 minimum paycheck guarantee, which means you're never going to make less than $1,250 on your paycheck, no matter what happens. Uh, you could be broke down, you could be up in the slow seat. Well, we're in the slow season now until about the end of February. Uh, you could be up north and stuck in a snowstorm for two days at a truck stop. That's happened to me here at Averitt. Uh, it's only happened once, but it, it happened. And having that 1250 minimum, it's not a lot of money. Let's be honest, it's not a lot of money. But it's nice to have that little safety net for the just in case. You don't have to worry about going home with a, a pitiful paycheck. I've only seen the 1251 one time because I have never made that low of a check to see that. 
um, except for one time, and they started doing this last year, most drivers won't ever see it. Um, if you'll see it very rarely if something weird happens, but uh, it's just nice having that safety net there. We have all the extra stuff too, you know, your detention pay, your layover pay, your breakdown pay and all that. It's pretty much standard across the industry. What you're getting at your current job if you're working for a trucking company is probably what you're going to find here at Abert as well. Um, that stuff is kind of usually the same across all companies. So for the most part, um, I think it's like $20 an hour for detention. I think breakdown is the same. Um, layover pay, I think it's 200 but you never see a layover here at Abert very very rarely. I think I've seen my whole career here at Avert, past eight years, I think I've seen it like three times. So you'll never see that. So we have all that stuff too, guys. Um, let's see, what else can I say about pay? <clears throat> if you want to know exactly how much I made last year, I made $80,697. And But it's actually a little higher than that. We'll get into that later on in the video. Uh, but that's 80000 I think I made a little bit more last year. I'd have to go back and watch the last year's review video. But that's to be expected. I move over to a dedicated account. And there for a while it was kind of squirrely because uh, just everything wasn't nailed down the way it should be. Everything wasn't as efficient as it should be. But now it is. And I love the run, so don't get me wrong. Uh, but there for a while, things just weren't lining up right. Either a load wasn't ready on time or it should have went here when it was supposed to go here, that kind of thing. Um, so it took them a while to get this all nailed down, but um, I expect them to make a little bit less this year. And that is not training pay or anything like that. I didn't do any kind of training last year because I'm on a dedicated account now. So even though I'm still classified as a trainer here at Averitt, um, I'm not actively training students because I only run between a couple places now. And they want students to have more experience than that running all over the place. So that $80,697, $80, that's pretty much straight up just driving, okay? That's not, no kind of trainer pay or any kind of bonus like that that you couldn't get if you came to the company. In fact, you could even make a lot more than that because I'm the type of guy where I like to get home on the weekends. I have a wife and kids at home. You guys know that. Um, so I push to get home. Now, if you are one of those guys that you don't care if you don't get home until Saturday or you might want to leave out on Sunday afternoon, you can make a lot more money than doing that compared to what I made. Um, I'm usually home on Friday afternoon, usually around 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and I normally don't leave out until Monday morning. So I'm pretty strict about that because of my family life. Uh, so there is potential to make a lot more than what I made here this year. Um, but... Like I said, I've got those obligations at home that I have to keep up. <laughs> you do get paid vacation time here, uh, personal time off, paid vacation time, whatever you want to call it. Um, you get your first year at our first year. It'd be nice to have a year, wouldn't it? You get your first week after 90 days. So if you join, here it is, January. If you join up with Averitt, come spring, you'll have a week vacation you can take off with your family. So that's pretty cool. 90 days for your first week of vacation. After two years, you start getting two weeks every year. And then I think there's a jump. I think there's like a, I think you have to hit year eight before you start seeing the three weeks every year. Um, but that changes all the time too. So it'll probably change by the time you hit that point. But uh, just know that after 90 days, you get your first week of vacation. So if you joined up with Averitt soon, three months down the road, you'd have a week vacation to use. Use it for your summer vacation this year or whatever you wanted to do, you'd have it available. Um, Averitt has a lot of driving opportunities here. We have something for everybody. Uh, for flatbed, they have the touring division, which does like the concerts and the festivals and all that. They go, Those go up, guys go everywhere though. So you have to be kind of committed if you want to join that route because they are out for a long time. Uh, a few weeks to a few months at a time. Uh, so, but they do have the touring division. Um, we have, of course, normal flatbed, normal drive-in. We have a slew of ch a supply chain and dedicated accounts. Um, I'm not going to start naming them all off because I would forget half of them. I probably don't even know half of them. Uh, so there's something for everybody here. Of course, we have the city, the LTL. The truckload is kind of broken up into two sections now. Um, they're trying to swap things over to a new model here at Averitt. Uh, you're a hub driver or a spoke driver is what they're going to be calling them. And the spoke drivers are the ones that are the biggest uh, 
highlight for people because they are truckload drivers that get, go home every single day. So you're driving a normal truck, you're in a sleeper truck, you go pick up one whole load of freight, you don't have to stop at 20 places, and you still get to go home every single day the way this system works. Um, so if you want an opportunity to where you are home every day, give the company a good look at it because uh, they are swapping over to this. They already have a lot of our service centers, our terminals up and running with this and they're gonna bring them all online. The eventual goal is to change the entire truckload model over to this. Uh, so if you're looking for a job where you can be home every night with your family, um, yeah, keep Avery in mind. Uh, so um, the normal truckload we still have as of right now, so these guys are going to be out Monday through Friday. They go home on the weekends. They won't guarantee you that because guarantee is a very big word over here. So your truck could tear up on a Friday afternoon and you are 500 miles away from the house. You're probably not gonna get home that weekend. Very rare circumstance, but you know, if they say guarantee, then they can be held to it. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> but 99% of the time you will be home on the weekends. It's normally on a Friday evening, early, early Saturday morning, and you normally don't have to leave out until Monday morning. You will have to leave out occasionally on Sunday afternoon or late evening. Well, it depends on your load. I mean, most of the guys don't leave out on Sunday. Uh, so they try to avoid that at all costs. But for the most part, you're going to have your entire weekend at home. So you got to worry about that. <coughs> so we kind of went over the pay already a little bit. $0.55 cent a mile to start here driving at Averitt for the dry van. Um, the guys that get to go home every night... They are paid hourly and it's $27 an hour. So it's $27 an hour for the guys that get to go home every night. City, I think it's, I forget how much city is. Um, I think that varies also depending on where you're at. Like if you're in like Chicago area, it might pay a little more than somewhere like, you know, I don't know, Montgomery, Alabama. I don't know, just saying. Um, so I know it's, it's competitive too. These guys get to go home every day as well. The only difference between them and the truckload drivers that get to go home every day is that the city drivers are making multiple stops throughout the day. So they might hit 10 businesses going out, pick up freight on the way back to the service center, and that's their day. Whereas a truckload driver that goes home every day, what he will do is come into the his terminal, his service center, go pick up a load of freight, bring it back to his service center, drop the entire load. And that may be the end of his day, depending on how long it took him to do that run. But he may have to go get another one, bring that entire load back, and drop it to the service center. So you're not making multiple stops as you go out. You're making one run. So that's how they got this set up. All right. <coughs> so let's start talking about the other things. And we've already kind of mentioned it as our service centers, uh, the terminals, whatever you want to call them. They call them service centers here at Averitt. And they are a guaranteed place to sleep. I'm at Chattanooga right now. And... You know, they are a huge quality of life thing for drivers. Um, I never have to worry about a place to park at night. Doesn't matter if I don't get loaded until 10 o'clock at night, I can always go to one of our service centers and we're always gonna have a place to park. I can't tell you how much stress that takes off a driver because any driver that's been out there for a while, you know the truck stops start filling up around dinner time. Eight, nine o'clock, you ain't finding nothing at a truck stop. You might be get lucky and make you a spot, but a lot of times that's already been taken too. Uh, rest areas are filling up. You can take a chance on sleeping on a ramp, but um, you know, you might get a ticket for doing that. I know down there in Georgia, <clears throat> down where I'm at in Georgia, where I pick up my load, down there at the Loves on 75 around exit 315, there's a Loves or 310, 310. Um, there's police officers giving tickets every single morning. And I, I'm on a dedicated account, so I see this every day. Um, he's giving tickets out every single day from trucks sleeping on the ramp. And there's a Loves right there at that exit, but it's full. So, you know. But, uh, yeah, in most cases, it is illegal to sleep on the ramp, even though I know I'm a driver. I understand sometimes it can't be helped. But here at the service centers, you know, at Averitt, we don't have to worry about that. We have a 100, over a 100, 100 something terminals from Texas East, which always have guaranteed parking. They don't mind if you go out of route to get to one. Um, to sleep and most of them have fuel most of them have showers uh, some have gyms 
most of them have some kind of a driver lounge with recliners and TVs. Uh, you know, it's just nice. You know, you, you come here, you got a guaranteed place to park. It's usually quiet. Aside from, you know, the docks, which are up here and they're loading trucks, you know, you hear the forklifts sometimes if you're too close to the docks, but most of us, we try to park away from the docks. Um, but they're great because I can sleep here, guaranteed place to park. Don't have to worry about getting hit by some random driver. I'm sure the occasional uh, Averick driver does get hit still even on our yards. You know, accidents do happen, but let's be real. I mean, you know, I'd rather be hit by one of my own compared to some someone from who knows what country that can't speak English is probably going to take off my hood and drive off, you know, at a truck stop. You know how that is. Um, <coughs> so, but they're really nice. You come here, you sleep, get up in the morning. You can have your shower or have it the night before, whatever you want to do. Get up in the morning, get your fuel right here at the service center, and then head out, and you're good for the day. Um, so they are very nice, a huge, just a stress off your shoulder because you don't have to worry about parking. I, uh, that's just, to me, that's that balances out some of that pay right there. Uh, the service centers are just really nice. Um, so that covers that. Let's keep going down. I got a whole list here, so if we're going to go over. So the next is going to be our profit sharing, and this is something that's not talked about a lot. And it needs to be. It, it really needs to be. Um, <clears throat> Averett has a 401k plan here for retirement. And what they do is they take a percentage of their profits every year and they distribute it amongst all the associates and that's dropped into a 401k account in your name. It used to be through Wells Fargo. It is now through a company called Principal. I like Principal a lot better. Not only does it have more options for investing, but I'm getting a much better rate of return on that as well. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> what they, you know, a lot of companies, when you hear profit sharing, you, a lot of companies will just use that as like a buzzword, like something to motivate, to get people in the door to look at their company. Hey, we got profit sharing, but they don't really go into details because normally profit sharing is a wash. Normally it's not very much money. They just like to spout that and say it as something they can use to lure people in. Well, here at Avery, that's not the case. And last year, they have deposited, as of October, now, they have deposited $6,565 into my 401k. And that is not my contributions. That is straight pay from Avery. Um, and that only counts up to October. So if you figure, divide that by 10 for 10 months leading up to October, it's about $656 a month. So if you tack on two months to count for November and December, you're looking at right at $8,000 for the year of free money that Avert has given to all the associates dumped into their 401k accounts from profit sharing. And that's huge, that's major guys. That's why I said the 80,000 that I made earlier, it's actually a little higher than that because you gotta add on this $8,000 that's free money. It's still income, it's your money. It may not have come to your paycheck, um, but it's still your money. Uh, you're gonna be using it one way or another down the road. So if you add that up, it's you know $89,000 that I made this year. Um, but the 401k is real nice. They don't talk about it a lot, um, but it's, it's a substantial amount of money and, and it going into a retirement account automatically, I mean, that's awesome. You can always contribute more if you want to add to, to that <coughs> out of your own paycheck every week. Uh, but this is automatic. It happens all by itself just from drivers doing a good job. Okay, so, you know, it kind of gives incentives for the drivers to to do a good job, to not have accidents, to watch out for damaged freight, to get fuel at the service centers instead of at a truck stop because it's a lot cheaper we, when we get it in bulk here at the service centers. Um, just everything like that, you know, everything to make the company more efficient uh, trickles down to us. So it's a good system they have in place. It's, it's a good substantial amount of money and it gives drivers the incentive to try, to try to be the best. <coughs> All right, so next thing I wanna talk about is the uniforms and a lot of people don't like uniforms or being told what to wear. Um, our uniforms are part of the culture here at Averitt to make us look professional. And um, you get $150 every year to use in the company store for uniforms. So it's, you, you know, I pretty much refresh my entire wardrobe every year. 
Um, but they've got something for everybody. Like you've got button up shirts like I've got on right now. Um, this is a no tuck shirt because I don't like tucking in my shirt at all. Um, they got short sleeve ones, they got long sleeve ones, they've got pullover shirts of like the stretchy material that has a collar and like two or three buttons, the polo golf shirt type thing. Um, they have pants, they have cargo pants, they have shorts, they have uh, different design shirts for women compared to men, so you know they fit a woman's body better. Um, <clears throat> But they really have something for everybody. They have all kinds of hats. They have ball caps. They have like, you know, the snow caps or the hats, whatever you want to call these things. That's it for debate because everybody has a different word for this. Um, <laughs> so, but I use these in the winter because, you know, I lost my hair a long time ago. So it keeps my head warm. Um, but they got everything, guys. And, you know, like I said, it makes it look sharp. You don't have to worry about messing up your own clothes, getting your own clothes dirty or getting fifth wheel grease on your own clothes. There's been times where I've gone into a customer and gotten priority service just because I have a good attitude and I look decent compared to somebody that's in there with, you know, nasty clothes. You know what I'm talking about. You've seen them at the truck stop. You know what I'm talking about, fellas. Um, so they expect you to wear your uniforms over here at Averitt, and it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, like I said, they pay for them, so why not? And um, just lets our customers know that we're professional or we try to be the professional anyway. Uh make sure you wear your uniforms because you never know who you're going to meet you can meet the shipping clerk in that office that day it could be the ceo of the company you never know so we try to i guess they want us to look really sharp and look clean and, and professional and i understand that so that's it for the uniforms i guess um they're pretty much standard i don't know pretty much have anything you want something for everybody and they have all a range of sizes too so if you're they go these things go up to like six or seven x so i mean yeah they you ain't gonna worry about nothing like that if you're a big old guy or big old gal <laughs> all right so we've got the uniforms covered let's go over the equipment a little bit um the equipment is very well maintained here at Averitt. um for the day cabs they have the volvo vnrs and um i forget the model number but it's the latest version of the Volvos. I don't know them because I don't drive them. Um, but it's the Volvo for the day cabs, and then for the sleeper trucks, it's the Freightliner Cascadias. Um, I've driven pretty much every truck brand under the sun, and I'm still a Freightliner lover. Uh, I guess that's just what I'm used to the most. Uh, you can't beat the space in this Cascadia. I was a trainer, and I never had a problem with two people in here all kinds of space in here it's huge on the inside if you've never been in a cascadia if you check on my channel i have a couple videos of a tour of the outside and the inside of the truck so you can get a better idea if you're never been in one you want to see what it looks like i got you covered it's on the channel uh, but we have two beds in all the trucks we have a table and chairs underneath this bed which is my main bed here uh, but I never use it because I have a special mattress. It's like 12 inches thick So I can't fold that bed up against the back wall to use the table and chair So I never use it a lot of drivers never use it either um, Let's see we have a spot for your microwave which does not come included you have to get that on your own But they're like $40 at Walmart uh, They do come with their own refrigerator that's built into the truck and they all have inverters that are built into the truck uh, 1500 watt to 2000 watt they're depending on whatever they have in stock I guess at the time because I used to have 1500 this truck has a 2000 watt but even with the 1500 I never had any problems running my TV my microwave my shop bag my laptop uh, my gaming systems anything like that so I never had a problem with it they all come with APU diesel burning APU so they're not the electrical kind they are the diesel burning the real APUs with the engine in the back okay that's going to provide you with your air conditioning your heat and your electrical when the truck is off um, what else can I say about them uh, let's see normal safety features you know the blind side detector the front collision avoidance all that we do have cameras in the truck but they are outward facing only and they only record video okay so no audio nothing facing the driver nothing facing the sleeper nothing like that um, and I understand that because if it was my truck I'd want the same thing I'd want that little camera up there as a dash cam I actually ran my own dash cam before we got them here at Avery just to have that extra layer of protection because 
I'm not perfect, but chances are if I have an accident, it's going to be, it's gonna be because of somebody else. So it's nice to have that for legal purposes. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what else? The trucks are set for 65. They are automatic. Um, standard, standard Freightliner, guys. I don't know what else I can say about this truck. Check the tour if you want more information of something you want to see. Um, as far as the trailers go, never had any problems with the trailer. Now, you'll get the occasional one that will sidetrack a little bit, you know, when you're going down the road and the trailer's kind of off to the left or to the right, which can easily be fixed, usually in most cases, by making a U-turn with that trailer. Um, but just because the alignment's a little off. But as far as like sliding the fifth wheel, or sliding the fifth wheel on the trailer, yeah, okay. Sliding the tandems on the trailer or anything, I've never really had any problems with that. Pulling the pin out, um, not a problem with that. We used to have some that had a lever, uh, but we had some drivers, including myself, complaining like crazy on those, and they're all gone now. So uh, all of our trailers are really well maintained. They get their annual inspection here at the service centers every year like they have to be, you know, DOT inspected, they gotta have a sticker on them. Um, so all that's well maintained as well. Like I said, worst case thing that I've found is that you'll have one every now and again that will sidetrack every now and again. You know, blown tires on a trailer, that's gonna happen from time to time. It happens on a truck time to time. I mean, you know, sometimes nothing will be wrong with a tire and it'll just blow out for no reason, so that's expected. But as far as things like, you know, just shoddy equipment, I, I've never encountered that here at Avery. And um, they take good care of it. They expect you to take good care of it. So if you get in a truck here at Avery, please don't trash it. Um, you know, you can eat off my floors here. If any, any student out there, you know, you talk to any of my students, they know that I keep my truck clean. The outside may not be clean all the time, but the inside I do keep clean try to keep clean Febreze the seats down every weekend and, and you know wipe the floors down and you know it's your home you know it's your home so just try to treat it nice let's see the other equipment here at Averitt what else is there forklift I know nothing about guys <laughs> so uh, I guess that's gonna be about it for the equipment if you have any questions or anything let me know though the orientation, if you decide to come here at Avery, is all online now. They started doing it online during COVID, and it's worked out so well for them that I don't think they're going to plan on ever doing it like in person again, where they bus everybody in or get rental cars to bring everybody in to have like an official class, because this is working out so much better for them. Uh, you know, they do it all online, so you don't have to do it. Leave your home. Uh, you, you, you attend the three or four days of orientation from your house and um, you know you'll have to go to like if you have to get your drug screen and all that stuff done but the thing about it is like if you're in a Chattanooga area where I'm at they'll have you come to the service center and the service center will tell you which clinic to go to to get that done but then you go back home so if you're in Birmingham for example they're gonna have you go to the Birmingham service center get your drug test done go back home um, so you'll be doing your online classes and filling out paperwork and all that stuff online. So you can go worry about that. That's pretty cool. You do get paid for that as well. Um, so everything is online. I don't, I don't know if they're ever going to go back to a normal orientation. Last I heard, the answer to that was no. So we will see. I guess it must be working out pretty well to them. Uh, they ship everything to your house, your first batch of uniforms, all your paperwork, all that stuff gets shipped right to your house. So it's kind of convenient in a way. I've never been part of a trucking company that's ever done that before. So that's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Might be a little hassle to, get, to go through everything online, but you're in the comfort of your own home. You don't have to worry about leaving for a week. You know, you get an extra home at, week at home during orientation. You get paid for doing it, and you get to sit there with your wife. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. A uh, couple other things I want to talk about is just the uh, overall culture here at Avery. And I've already kind of touched on a little bit now. I can be branded as a company man, I guess you could call it, um, but I'm not really. I mean, if, if Avery does something wrong, I'm not afraid to call him on it. Uh, but I do appreciate the company. I love the company. I've been here for eight years now. Um, I see myself retiring from here. And a lot of it just has to do with the way I'm treated. Uh, now, I'm a trainer, you guys know that, and I've trained almost 30 students here at Avery. And I hear horror stories all the time. You know, I ask students, you know, where'd you work before you came here? You know, 
what was it like? Or why'd you decide to give us a shot? Or why'd you leave your other company? And some of the stories that I hear from other companies, guys, it's unreal. Some of the stuff, now I'm only getting one end of the story. Now the company could have a totally different view of that st same story. But um, when I'm hearing the same stuff from multiple drivers that come from various companies, I'm not gonna call any companies out here. Uh, it tends to be true. And some of the things that, you know, I hear horror stories and it's just, it's unreal. It's unreal. Um, guys, ladies out there, if you have a clean CDL and you have six months to a year of experience, don't put up with that kind of crap. You should not be treated like a disposable number. Um, you are more valuable to the industry than the company is treating you and you don't have to put up with that. Take your clean CDL your six months, especially a year of experience. If you have six, uh, a year of experience and a clean CDL, you can pretty much go to almost any trucking company out here with a simple phone call. Um, if Averett for some reason fired me to, today, I could be in orientation somewhere else tomorrow simply because I have a clean CDL and I have some experience. I mean, th they need drivers out here across the board, all companies do, so don't put up with that stuff, guys, all right? But I do want to say that I've never been mistreated here at Averid. Um, I know people all the way from the people that sweep the floors all the way to the owner himself, which is Mr. Gary Sasser. I know a lot of people between that point and the guy who sweeps the floor, okay? I know a lot of people. Uh, different departments, training departments. I know people in payroll. I know people in um, benefits. I know people in, in the uniform, the people who order the uniforms and put all that stuff together, like Miss Alice Crabtree. Um, you know, I know a lot of people and I have never worked for another company trucking or non -tr non trucking that has treated me as well as I have been here at Avery. Um, you can meet the higher up execs and they're going to treat you just like you're on the same level as them. Uh, they don't treat you like they're looking down on you. Um, I've had six or seven different fleet managers now and, um, because of different situations. Nothing wrong with them, nothing wrong with me. Just like one of them moved to Texas, another one moved up in the company, that kind of thing. Um, and our fleet managers are dispatchers. And I've always been treated by respect with them. Never had any problems. Everyone's gonna have a bad day. I mean, you, you, you can detect it in people's voices sometimes. Um, but I've never been never been treated like dirt here and that's important for me because we're under enough stress out here guys under the you know just dealing with traffic you don't need to be working for a company that doesn't value you being there and um you know so if, if, if you're a part of one of these companies that are just treating their drivers like crap like the trainers or the trainees that i get that i hear these horror stories of for um don't put up with it, guys. I, I, if you don't come to Avert, that's fine, but find you something better, especially if you got some experience, I'm telling you, because there, there just ain't no sense in that. Um, and it doesn't all boil down to pay, although a lot of it, I hear that, I, I've had more than one students tell me they're making more during training than they were at the real job driving. Um, just things like that and horror stories about a company who, treats their drivers like crap or just leaves them on the hook or no communication or anything like that um i watch another a few people on youtube and they talk about lack of communication of other trucking companies and how if a load gets canceled or changed nobody lets the driver know um nothing like that here at Averett. Um, if a load gets canceled or if a load gets changed you get it on your qualcomm immediately and you will normally get a phone call also um so it's just you know, the culture here at Avery, you're going to be treated like somebody. doesn't matter your age. doesn't matter your race or your sex. Anything in between any of that. Um, it, we're all family here. Uh, some of us are going to make mistakes. We do get the occasional bad apple. So we're not all perfect, that's for sure. Um, but I can't beat the way I'm treated here. And that's one of the reasons why I stay. Um I guess that covers about everything. I'm up to 34 minutes. So, hey, this is actually short compared to my normal videos. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, the best way to contact me is through email. I respond to all the emails I get. It is My address is chris at Averitt, and then the little at symbol, gmail.com. 
and that's an account that I set up just for these videos. If you want to fill out an application and this video helped you out, I would appreciate if you put my name down as a referral just so I can take my wife out on another date without kids. Um, but a better way to do that is by sending me an email with your name, your city, state, and zip, and your phone number. And the reason is because we have an application on our phone that allows us to send that information straight to Avery. A file gets created in their system and my name is already going to be matched up to your application. You will be matched up with a recruiter and everything's already automatically taken care of. That recruiter will call you usually within the hour or two of me sending it in. So it's pretty fast. It's convenient. So if you want to go that route, like I said, just send me your name, your city, state, and zip, and your phone number and I'll take care of it. Um, but if you have any questions or anything about Avery driving or anything here, let me know guys. I'll answer any question, big question, little question. I know I've been talking to one guy lately and uh, he's asked me about 500 things about the company and I don't mind to answer them at all. That's what I'm here for. I, I like helping other drivers in the industry and paying it forward. Uh, so if the video helped you out, I'm, I'm thankful for that. And if you decide not to join Averitt, eh, I just hope you find something that fits you. Everybody has a different fit, different, you know, what fits me may not fit you. So. I just hope you find happiness in this 2023 year and hope you everyone has a good year, a good safe year. And I guess that's it. We will see you next time. Bye guys.